Another year, another yearly review update, this time on the Kinsui gear that I have. Hi, I'm John the Pritchett with Theology Geek Fitness, and I think I've purchased just about everything that Kinsui has sold, except for their weight plates and their barbells, which are out of my price range, and to be quite honest, out of my interest range. I've heard a lot of good things about them, and if they're comparable to all of their other products, I'm sure they're top of the line. It's just I don't need to buy their weight plates, and I don't really use barbells in my training, so... Alas, just not to be uh, something I'll ever get around to covering on this channel. But I do cover a lot of Kinsui equipment. And so I'm going to divide this review up in the way they categorize their equipment on their website. So I'm going to start with like the grips and handles and stuff. And, you know, a lot of their products are made out of that same material that you find on the Easy Vest. You know, that hard plastic or nylon or something, whatever material it is. But it is some of the sturdiest stuff ever. And so when you get something like their, uh, like the Nanobar version 2, you know, the handles that, that you can put like suspension uh, straps through and use it like a suspension trainer, um, great piece of kit. I've done a review for it. I've reviewed all of the things that I'm talking about today. Uh, great portable little thing. It's indestructible just about, so I don't, I, I've never seen it even scuff. So that's wonderful. Like the... Uh, 360 degree grips, uh, fantastic. Um, no problems with those. Uh, the Swissies, I only recently got the version 2 uh, and the Swissies Max, so I haven't had those for a year yet. But as far as the original Swissies, which are like my favorite resistance band handles too, and as far as uh, the uh, Swissies 45, perfect condition after a year. You, you can't tell, you know. I wipe some dirt on because I train with them outside. I, you know, I wipe some dirt off of them or whatever if I chunk them into the ground. But um, no problems. Uh, rock solid. I, 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 they're indestructible as well. Um, the uh, yin yang parallettes haven't had uh, long enough, uh, but those are fine, uh, holding up well. The um, uh, nano bars. XL. Um, you know, the, they're really cool portable parallettes. I don't really use parallettes a whole lot. I just bought them because, you know, they were cool. And then I got the Yin Yangs because they're a Kinsui product. So, um, but yeah, they hold up fine. Uh, the, the metal on the uh, nano bars, I did get a scratch on it. And so it will scratch. Um, because it's only the the pegs and the feet of, of that that's made out of that typical Kinsui materials, but the the tube itself for the parallettes that you put the legs and pegs into it uh, to make it portable, um, that's a uh, type of metal, and it I think I scratched it on a rock, um, but that's about it. As far as like holding up, I haven't had the experience that other people have had with like one of the legs falling out or hard to get the uh, the feet to plant in the peg or whatever I've, I've seen a couple of uh comments on the internet about that not many but i think two i've never had any of those problems with it still don't um as far as the um what else do they have that's uh grips and neo rings i mean rings are rings uh the straps still solid uh, the the straps for the neo rings are the exact same straps as the ones for the nano bars too uh and the exact same straps that you get for the Easy Vest suspension systems is just the same straps. And those things, uh, they're thinner than they're they're an inch thick instead of it 1.5 inches thick, like a lot of normal straps you get with rings or whatever or suspension trainers. Uh, but they're rock solid. They're uh, the cam buckles are fine. Uh, the straps holding up, no problems there either. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, all of their grips and handles and rings and stuff, just about as good a condition as the day that I bought them. So as far as their plate-loaded gear goes, I haven't had, like, the the easy bells long enough uh, to see how they're going to do, but they're fine. Um, did a review on those, a lot of fun. Same with the Adjust a Club and uh, Adjust a Mace. Haven't had those for a full year yet, but... Eh. I don't really use them as much as I thought I would, but they're fine. Uh, doing great. Uh, no problems. Uh, nice wood. They, they feel great. Great handles and stuff. I just, 
I, I don't use them regularly. And so I imagine they'll last forever when you don't use them hardly uh, more than a few times a month. But I uh, haven't had them for a year yet, so can't update on that. Um, the adjuster bells, same condition as when I bought them, and I use those pretty frequently and never had any problems out of them. I mean, they're just, I mean, they're, there's no wear and tear um, on them at all. You know, they still screw in and unscrew just fine. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think that those are going to, I mean, unless you do something drastic, I mean, you could drop those things and nothing's going to happen to them. So the adjustables, uh, holding up great. And then of course the, uh, easy vests, both the light and the pro, I don't have the max, uh, probably never going to buy the max, but same thing. Uh, one of the XT adapters that I had got stuck and so I had to get pliers to untwist it because I could not twist it off to save my life one time. Um, and sometimes I forget that they're reverse threaded. So sometimes I just make it even tighter and tighter and tighter because I'm going the wrong way because I forget about the reverse threading. So I had to get pliers and it put like a little bit of a snap into the rim around the uh, thing where you screw in the thing after you load the plate on it. But it didn't affect it at all. But it did kind of put a little ding into it when I, you know, clamp down on the pliers to get it to loosen so I could unscrew that uh, adapter. But other than that, and like I said, it hadn't affected it and I haven't had that problem since. So, uh, that's fine. Uh, and those XT adapters, I mean, if, if something were to happen to those to where I had to try to destroy them to get them off, uh, which I don't ever see happening. I mean, the pliers got it really quickly. It just kind of put a little scuff mark into it. Um, they're not that expensive anyway, so you can always replace those, but I, I don't see a need to. Um, so I haven't really had any problems out of that, but I just wanted to be honest and like, what is a issue that I've had with, uh, the easy vest pro? Well, that XT adapter got stuck on there and it got pliers and it kind of bit down on it, but the, the, the cap still screws on after you put the weight plate on didn't affect anything. So, uh, but that's it. Um, that's all I can think of that I've encountered in the past year that I've continued to use those products. So, uh, as far as like their accessories go, I don't ever really use the jump rope. Um, I've used the hydro plates a couple of times, uh, traveling here and there. Um, but those are fine. No problems with those. Of course, they don't get used a whole lot. I haven't traveled as much as I used to. Uh, like I said, the jump rope, I don't really use at all. And, um, the resistance bands, uh, really good band. Both the fabric bands, which I did a review on, and the latex bands, which I did a review on, both of those are really good quality. Um, the fabric bands are all the same size, but uh, they've held up fine. Uh, and it's interesting that they're all the same size, but they have different tension uh, to them. So go check out that review. They're interesting. Um, I, I think I just prefer, because that's what I've been used to, is the latex bands. And theirs are really high quality. They have really good, whoever's producing their four set of latex 41 inch loop bands, you know, they look the same color coding as a lot of the Amazon brands that you see out there that all are just different labeling and whatever, but probably all the same. Their manufacturer is better than all of those. I mean, Kinsley, whoever they're, they get to manufacture their latex bands, uh, the tension curve on them is a lot stronger. They seem to be more durable. So yeah, I mean, if you just want to get a set of four resistance bands, I think you should get Kinsway's up. They're up there with me as far as like price to quality is with Undersun. So I uh, can't hate on the resistance bands. So after a year, uh, another year of using uh, Kinsway stuff, still as rock solid as ever. So if you're into Kinsway stuff or you're looking to get like a weight vest or some sort of adjustable dumbbells or an adjustable kettlebell or you know, maybe you want to swing a mace around and you want to use the weight place you have, or you're looking for, you know, various Swissies. They've got a bunch of different Swissy varieties now. Uh, I guess those things are pretty popular. So, uh, that stuff will last you forever. Really will. Uh, it's a good company, uh, good products. So there you go. After a year, that's my update on the Kinsui gear. Um, 
If you found this video helpful, if you're interested, you can find more uh, in-depth reviews of each one of those products here on the channel. Just do a search, or I think I have a playlist dedicated to Kinsley stuff because I uh, review a lot of their products. So there you go. Like the video if you liked it. Click the dislike button if you didn't like it. I don't really care either way. Just pick one or the other. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you want to support what we're doing at Theology Geek Fitness, you can do that by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash theologygeekfitness. One dollar gets you in the door to all kinds of exercise videos, workout routines, and stuff that you can follow along with in the comfort of your home while you listen to your favorite podcast because there's no audio on it's just video so you can put on something a lot more enjoyable to listen to than the sound of my voice while you follow along with the workouts if you're needing some motivation or inspiration to work out at home uh, using the types of equipment there's all kinds of videos over a hundred of them featuring different kinds of equipment that i use here ten dollar and above patrons get in on the gear giveaways i do that four times a year so be on the lookout for that if you give ten dollars or more you get to see access to the patron gear giveaway where i send me an email first come first serve if i'm giving something away uh i mail it to you so there you go. Consider that, and I'd appreciate it, just like I appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.